Hey guys, it's Luigi Gal here with another video tutorial. Today we're going to be doing something a bit new. Today I'm going to be making a general plugin tutorial on how to use placeholder API, meaning anyone can follow this tutorial. As a base, I am going to be using my Survival Reborn pre-made setup. However, if you don't have this, you will still be able to follow the tutorial. As some of you may know, I offer pre-made Minecraft setups and hosting. If you are interested in this setup or any other game mode, be sure to check us out at premiersetups.com. Link will be down in the description. With all that fun out of the way, let's go ahead and get going. All right, and the first step here is to download the plugins we are going to be using. This obviously includes placeholder API, the plugin itself, and another plugin that we want to put our placeholders in. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using Title Manager, which provides us a scoreboard and a tab menu for us to put our placeholders in. If you're going to be using a different plugin, it's important to check if the plugin you want supports placeholder API. It'll usually say this in the features list, and it should say something along the lines of placeholder API support or PAPI PAPI as it's sometimes abbreviated. All right, and the next step is to get both the plugins downloaded and installed. As we already have them downloaded, we just need to drag and drop them into the plugins folder. This pre-made setup already has them pre-installed, so here's placeholder API, and we also have Title Manager sitting right there as well. With both the plugins installed, we can go ahead and start up the server. We'll let it fully boot up and then we'll connect to it in game. And here we are in game. As you guys can see, we're missing some information on the right hand side over where it says survival reborn. That is our title manager. And as you can tell, we're missing something. So what's going on here? Well, I went ahead and I cleared all the title manager data with the placeholder API so we can set it up together. So that'll be our next step is getting the information that we want. So the first thing we need to do here is decide, well, what information do we want? On the right hand side, the first one we're seeing is rank. So how do we add the rank? So the important part of placeholder API is everything is online and documented extremely well. So we'll go ahead and we're going to go ahead and pull up the spigot page for placeholder API, and that'll have a whole bunch of important links for us to be able to find that information. So here is the placeholder API web page there. We're going to go ahead and scroll down till we see a place that plays placeholders and we'll go ahead and click on that and the first step here is we want to place our rank so we need to know well what plugin are we using for this we're using luck perms luck perms is the rank plugin for all of my setups so that'll be the one we're dealing with today so the first step here is to go to the placeholder api website and we need to find the luck perms placeholders little control f there and we find luck perms right here if you click on it it gives us a command to run and it says you can find an update list of all the placeholders on the luck perms wiki we're going to go ahead and open that in a new tab real quick and as you can see we get a whole bunch of words with percentage signs around them well what are these these are the actual placeholders that we use so if you wanted to say put the prefix in chat or somewhere else like on the scoreboard like what we're about to do you could grab it right here if you wanted to grab just the primary group you could get the primary group name right here as well so that's the one we're going to be using today because we want it to say what rank they have, which is also known as their primary group. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and pull up the title manager files here. And we're going to go ahead and open up the config. If we go down, we see right here where it says rank your info, but rank is blank. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to copy the placeholder we want. So the primary group name, we'll copy it and paste it in place here. Go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and go in game slash TM reload will reload title manager. Now it's on the right hand side, but that looks broken to me. What's going on here is we haven't told placeholder API to allow or download the extension that is needed for the slug perms plugin. It's that same command we saw earlier. So we'll go ahead and bring it up here. It's this happy eCloud download luck perms. Now there's sometimes as you can see with this, for example, there is no download command, but a lot of the time it is just Pappy eCloud download and the name of the plugin. Go ahead and enter that. And then Pappy reload will reload placeholder API. And immediately you can see that changes to my actual rank. So it's going to be the basic same steps for the rest of them. But let's go ahead and do them together just to get you a little more comfortable with what's going on. The next one on the right hand side says balance. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead back to the placeholder API. This time, the balance plugin is used by Vault. Vault is, handles all the economy for all my servers. So if we look up Vault, go ahead and click on Vault Economy. You have a whole bunch of different options. 
Now, there is a difference here between eco balanced and eco balanced formatted. Basically, the difference is the formatted version will add commas and such. So, if you have larger numbers, it's important to use that one. So, we're going to go ahead and copy that default eco balanced formatted. And we're going to go ahead and paste it in the same place we were talking about before, right after the dollar sign. That way, it shows up right here. Quick save and a quick title manager reload. You can see it's still broken. As expected, we need to download it. Happy eCloud Download Vault and a quick reload. And there you have your balance. If I give myself some money, so we'll go eco give Luigi Cow, let's say it will give me a whole bunch of money. As you can see, I have now a bunch of money on the right hand side. It shows that as well. All right, guys, as we can see, that is the basics of Placeholder API. As I scroll here, you can see there are a lot of plugins that support this. There are a lot of different things you could do to make your server seem more interactive and give your players a lot more information than they usually would get without having to type any commands or anything along those lines. If you guys are in need of any support, feel free to contact me at discord.premiersetups.com or drop a comment below. As always, guys, I appreciate you all for watching. Luigi Cal out.